Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Factorio and our bat challenge. That is the Bob's Angels Thousand Challenge. Um, copper pipes down through here. Alright, all we're really waiting on now is the manufacture of all of our steam engines. I don't have the materials for all of the steam engines up here, so we are going to have to go back and get more materials for them. But, I mean, once we've got this bit here all hooked up, I think this is going to be absolutely fantastic. This is going to really make a big difference to our base. All right, I've got two of them that I want to put in there. One and two in over here. Let's have a look. How many have I got? I literally just got these eight on me. That's it. Seriously? That's all I've got? It's taking a ridiculously long time to go and make all of these. It really is. Okay, so I can go and put in... That line up through there. And then I have got... Four steam engines right there, and I'm making another seven. I shouldn't be making seven. Oh, I suppose, yeah, because I um I've got these set out down the bottom. Um, right, I'm not gonna make any more of them just now. So as I've got that lot kind of all set out there and ready, we are gonna need to seed this just to start it off. Like, we are going to have to, like, fire it up just a little bit with one, uh, well, like, a couple little bits of coal. i got to get the water pump in place first, though. So, we'll do that before we do anything else. We also want to come across here and we want to join these in like this. Uh, yeah, like that. Join that one in. And then that one can join in over on that side. So, I've got everything connected across the top. I'll come down here, and I'm not going to quite do the same down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to join them in like this at the bottom of each row. Just staying away from where the water is going to connect in. And once these boilers here are finished, I can then go and actually get the the rest of it connected in. Uh, the, get uh, Make the water pumps. I want to make the water pumps. Right. Connect that in like that, and you can come down here like this. Okay, let's connect. I connected on the other side. I'm going to do the same on this side. Make sure that everything is all joined up together so that we've, we've got the entire lot all connected. I think that's going to be a, a better thing for us all around. I mean, I know it's a little bit messy out on there. That's not, you know, that doesn't matter. And I've only got 200 transport belts. So what I'll do is I will connect up. We'll go with this line here in the middle. Because this one is like you look in here. 2.7, 2.9, 2.8. There's actually some down here. I got 3.7 million pieces of coal coming off of one mining drill down here. This is insane. Absolutely insane. It was three. I'm sure there was one of the mining drills actually had more than 4 million pieces of coal. Off one mining drill. Which is nuts. Four million pieces of coal off of one mining drill. That is quite insane. So if we run all the way down through here. And that's going to come out to about that far. I'm then going to go up this way. And I'm going to join in the next lot. It's going to do exactly the same. And down here. So that's only leaving me with 90 belts at the moment. So what I'm going to do then is that's going to come up there. And then this one's going to come out. And it'll do that. Which will then have you connected in. I'm not going to put any more belts on for a second. You're going to go this way. Yeah, that can actually go there like that. And then that one's going to come over. And then that's going to go over to here. And that's going to go up there. So I've got just enough room out on this side to allow the water to go up and connect in with these. It's actually going to connect in on that side. And then the other bits of water will um, bring them in from elsewhere. So I want the last few of these. Now I've got 10. 
So I've got all of this line here is complete, and that one we that's the side that we're going to fire up. This side over here, we're not going to fire up yet. We're going to leave that. We're just going to fire this up, and that should have enough power to run that bit down there. So I just need to have water. So I've got to make a water pump. That's a nice and easy bit. Water treatment. Uh, offshore pump right there. Take that one. And then I'm going to bring that one. This offshore pump here is going to go right there like that. And then that's going to go... So it's going to go right into the middle. And then you're going to do that, that, and that. And that's it. I'm not going to do any more than that. That one's going to go in there. And that one's going to go in there. So I've now got the water all the way up through for all of those. I just need to have the coal. And what I'm hoping is... Now, I've got two options here. I can either go and connect this lot to the power over this side and join it in, or I can try and slow feed it from here. And this is what I actually wanted to try and do, just to see if we can, because I brought, didn't bring any coal with me. I, Yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, but what I have got is I've got some timber. So if I drop 28 timber into there, that has fired that up, just a little bit. It's only those two. And I'm very quickly burning through it. But these are working. And they're all... I mean, every single one is working. But what I have got... Is I've got coal now that goes right the way through the whole lot. And nothing now is going to work whatsoever. But that little bit of coal is enough to fire everything. That's all we needed. We needed those 20-odd pieces of wood. And what I'm hoping now is to have a single final piece of wood. I don't know if I can do this with one piece of wood. It's going to be interesting to see if I can. So I can put down a single piece of wood. I'm going to put a single piece of wood in there. Okay, that wasn't enough. I was wondering if one piece of wood might be enough to make this work. We have now got trains. Mark is red. All right. A single piece of wood is not going to be enough. But what I can do is... One, two, three, four, five, like that. I put five of them in, and then that's grabbed a bit of coal, and then that's fired up the others. So five pieces of wood was more than enough. So I think we ended up using like 40, uh, 35, 40 pieces of wood, something like that. Uh, that has just powered this up. So I've got some coal going in there, and then that's just enough to keep this running long enough to get the coal coming back up, because these are now running at full speed. And then everything fires up all the way through. And we've got complete power here on this area. So this one is using 6 megawatts of power. And it's got a potential output of 72 megawatts. I think 72 megawatts is pretty good. But what we're going to do now is we are going to change things around a little bit. We're going to wander down over this way. I've got 46 of those left. I've got 17 mining drills we're going to need to change things up just a little tiny smidgen. We're going to connect that in there for a start. Which now means that if we look over here. This is now burning through a whole lot more. And if we look in here, we've basically evened things out. So we've now got a potential of 290 megawatts. I've already sorted the power problem. I'm going to go and get more materials so that we can do more sorting of the power problem. I'm going to bring up a little bit of landfill for that. And we've got to finish building all the rest of... Oh, there is another thing that I want to build. If we go to Angel's uh, Exploration right here, I'm going to make a couple of radars like that. Now, it shouldn't take very long to make them. We are running low on materials. But it shouldn't take very long to make them. I'm going to drop one radar down right here. And I'm going to use that one first. And that's going to sort of open up some of this area in here. And I'm going to put another couple of radars. Actually, you know what? We won't put one right down in the middle. We'll bring a radar and we'll put it right up here to the north. And then we'll put one down on the southern end of everything that we've got. So we'll put one right there like that 
So we've now got this big air. This is Radar 2 that we're using, which is a lot further. Like, it reaches a lot further. I could put another one up there and upgrade that to a level 2. And that would make life a bit easier. And I could also go... I didn't take power any further than that. That's power as far as I went there. Um, I come all the way back down to the bottom. And I want to put... I, I'm going to go up and I'm going to upgrade that radar that we've got to a radar level 2. Because if I'm making it, I may as well use it. Where are we going to go with the other one? We'll run a power pole out and we'll drop a radar down here somewhere, I think. I've got 30 power poles at the moment. So I haven't got loads, but I have got some. So if I go out this side on the end of here, like that, I can run that out down here like this. Out on our island. And we'll be able to start connecting all of this in soon. So I want to drop that one down there like that. And that's opened out this big area in here. We can now see the entire island just about. Not quite all of it. We've got a bit of crotinium over there. We'll bring down a radar down here later. Uh, I'll probably actually connect a piece across here. We're going to fill all this in with landfill. This is all going to be filled in with landfill. And then we've got a massive new area for doing a load of building. Let's get some more research going then. We've got smelting trains. I've never seen those before. Fluid wagons, automated rail transportation, uh, vehicles. There's a few other bits in here. Oh, that one there was the Automation 3. Let's start that research in there. I figure that one's going to be quite handy. And we'll then go up over this way and we will swap over that. Um, radar, the, the level 1 radar that is up the top. We'll swap that over this level 2 one that we've just got and made and then we go and get more materials so that we can hook in all the rest of the coal on this patch to power and, and like we, we, we want to finish building all of that power station. The whole thing's got to all be completed. Here is our radar. Radar W850 something. That's not one of my names. Uh, I'll drop you down here. You are now Radar Dodecahedron. So now we have got this much space. Elemental spawner over there. Right. It doesn't give us a lot more of a view. We kind of need to like move out this way a little bit to be able to see some more of that. But I think this is, this is looking pretty good now. We've got all of that. I've got more available up there, so I've got a long walk home. I've tried adding a new mod into the mixture at the moment, and it basically its light should appear around me. The dusk twilight bits, they don't seem to have made any change, but I do at least have like an island of light going around me. The mod is, I think it's called Even More Light. Um, specifically says in the description for um, design for streamers and so on so that the, everything shows up a little bit better around me. Unfortunately it doesn't cover the entire map. Now there is mod or command that I can use in order to stop the night day transitions all the time. I don't want to use that unless I don't really have any other choice because um, it does, like, it, it sort of unbalances the game, at least as far as uh, solar panels are concerned. Now, a whole load of the Angels mods and stuff have been updated, and I do notice that we've got a lot of stuff has built back. Like, this is all built back, all the iron over here is built back, so I kind of need to find out why everything is built back. And where it's all built back to and, and what for. See, I've got all of this iron in here. I think the main reason we've got all of this stuff built back is because copper has suddenly come into short supply across the entire map. I've hardly got any copper ore running through this. Um, the iron ore has kind of blocked everything, and so then the copper isn't running. And because the copper's not running, everything else is kind of backed up. Like, I've got a little bit of copper running over this side... But again, I don't have enough. Like in this bit right in here, the algae is all backed up. Everything is backed up on here. I've got some of the copper coming in here, but I don't think I've got enough running into the rest of the map in order to be able to keep everything going 100% like I'd like it to. So 
there are issues here arising, and I suspect that we're going to find out that it is almost entirely down to the copper not coming through quick enough. Now, I've got this copper running through, and that's actually running in as... It's running out as fast as it can come in through and be processed by these. So it comes on down here, and then I've got the other copper that runs in from that side... And that's the bit that we've run out of, which means that we've got kind of a shortage coming in across the map. So it's it's down here. It's this entire facility here. So the iron has built all the way up. That one is completely full. I got all the iron that I could possibly want on this map now, apparently. And I need to do something about that. So I think really the only thing that we need to do at the moment is just to put this iron into storage in here. So if I can just have... Um, maybe even like requisition these two and we'll put iron in these instead of using them for loading copper. That might be a better thing to go and do. Now I need to get some more supplies so that we've got this area up here. This is connected to the rest of the base but we still need to be able to build up this in order to finish that lot. Um, and that's why I was running back down. And then we can finish building up that silicon and stuff like that. First and foremost though... We will go and deal with this. Now, good gravy. They're all full. Okay, that's kind of terrifying, to be honest. That we've got that many of them gone through, that is kind of terrifying. I need to get that silicon moving. All right, before I go back up and I do the rest of the power supply, I will get the silicon moving. Before I get the silicon moving, we're going to deal with getting the copper moving. In order to get that going, we just need to have some storage for the iron down here. If the iron has a bit of storage on it, that should take care of all of the rest of it. Because I think it is just the copper that is kind of like the shortage. but And that's the reason that we've got that copper shortage is because the iron is kind of like backed up and, and blocked everything. So I've got... That in there, I, this... Oh! Right, I don't need to change that round at the moment. What I do need to do, though, is turn that round. Like that. That's going to start throwing the copper out this way. This one, I'm going to get rid of these two in here. And I'm going to have that one's going to be separate. So this one is completely full of copper. We can get that out onto the line. That is going to head over this way, and it's going to start filling up everything else, and then that's all going to back up. But there was a big update with Bob's and Angel stuff. And because there was a big update, there was some recipes have changed, some items have changed, and I've also got to find out and make sure that nothing has broken. Now, that automation research up there is going through, so, that bit seems like it's okay. I don't think I've got any copper being split off over here at the moment. Doesn't look like it. All the copper is actually coming through this bit. It's going up there, comes out, and it joins in on here onto this line, which just comes over into this facility over here for making the copper wire. So I don't think there's actually anything major on there either. I just want to, like, join in the rest of this copper coming in. We want to get as much of that coming in onto the belt as possible. That's going to load everything up. So why do... Like, everything seems to have backed up. I'm just wondering if maybe it is entirely down to research on here. Like, it's just not researching fast enough. I've got... 400 spare on there, 420, 400, 500 almost, same. I've, I've got everything on all of those that I could possibly want. Copper is coming in here and it's being used up. We are spreading out the copper wire now. That is coming in through. I've got two lines of that. You see it's starting to spread out a bit more now. I've got this one line that goes on up north, and that's sort of being used up. And then I got these two lots in here. I've got one lot that comes out that side, and I got the other lot that comes in here and gets used up with these. So where's that coming in? 
Oh, I see. It splits off of there and it gets used in here. And then the other lot comes down here and that gets used up in here. But again, this is... This is all filled up. Everything's filled up in here. Just feels like... Something's gone wrong here somewhere, doesn't it? I definitely get the sensation that something has gone... That is, I think... It was these. I'm not getting very many of these being... Or I wasn't getting very many of these being made. And I think that has been the issue. Like they're coming down over here now. And I'm splitting them out. And they're coming in onto this one. Coming in along here. And it's making these electronic blocks. Which is in, in turn is making these. And it's the electronic blocks that we don't have very many of. I don't know. Something doesn't seem quite right here. I'm sure there's something has gone horribly wrong. And I can't quite put my finger on what it is. But we got an awful lot of build back. Through this system. There is an awful lot of build back. I'm hoping that with this 153,000 copper coming in. That is going to help matters. And I'm also going to just change this in around. We're over here. So what we'll do is if I move that one over. And I could just bring that down like that. And then I can get rid of that belt up through there. And then I can put a couple of inserters. One, two, and three in there like that. Put that one in. And they'll start loading in there. We can start dumping iron in here as fast as we possibly can. That'll work quite nicely, I should think. Quite happy for it to go and do that. That's going to filter a little bit more out of there. Which in turn will start to free up some of the space on here. Which will start to consume a little bit more of this ore. Now the other problem that we've got is the whole slag overflow system we've got is properly overflowed right now. I've got no room for any more slag, or very little slag, and I built a huge storage facility for the stuff over here, and this is filling up. That that one there is full. That's full. Those two are empty. And that's about it. Like, I've got maybe three of these left. Which means that I need to be able to start doing something with this. So in order to get that to move, we want to come up here and we want to get this fired up right now. So I've got everything else going into this one. I just need the silicon ore and the carbon. I've already got the carbon in there. I just need silicon ore to come in. And that one is down here. So we want to bring that one out from down here. There is my silicon ore. I've got all four of these are loaded to the gunnels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a belt down here. And we're going to just do two bits of belt like that, I think. Actually, I'm going to turn that round. It's going to go the other way. And I'm going to put one there. I'm going to put one there like that. It's going to go that way. And then I'm going to put... One of these here. I'm going to put one of these here like this. We'll put a power pole in there like that. You can load on that side of the belt like that. Is two of these going to be enough? Kind of hope so. But I can actually put in a couple more of these. I can put one there and I can put one there. And what we can do with this is if I was to put a belt there and a belt there like that. Then that one can go and pick up from there and drop down over there. I need to put this in. So that drops out onto that side. And then this one drop onto that side and it will load like that so now i've got four of them loading that belt and then i can have the belt come up here so we have done the research you will go up and you go out that way i'm going to turn you and i'm going to run you up here like this i'm going to get rid of that one and i'm going to step it across like that i'm going to go up to there 
And I've run out of belt. So let me just go and grab a few more from our belt manufacturing facility, wherever I've gone. Where did I... I've lost it now. Ah, here it is down here. Go and grab a little bit from here. We will get some more research. We've got automation level 3 going on right now. I need enhancement block 2, construction block 2, fluid block, mechanical block 1. It's enhancement block 2, and I've actually got some of those. We have actually made a few of those, so we could we could do that. I like this idea. Smelting trains, fluid wagons, automated, automated, automated rail fuel, burning generator right there. Uh, fluid burning generator. Those are actually pretty good. You can just put liquid fuel into them, and they will burn them. That's, they're actually quite a good generator to get, to use. Uh, I want to go over this way. I want to look in here. Right, underground. Let's have a look. The un un underground belts right here, I've got 30. So if I do that, that's two stacks of them. I want to make my splitters up to one stack like that. And I want to go into you, and I want to take several like that. Right, we have several. And I can go racing up this way. Use the belts to scurry us on up through like this. And look, see, I've got this light around me now, which is actually pretty good. It's, I mean, it's not a huge light, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Now, I'm going to want to get this belt to go up over the top. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have an underground belt to that point right there and then an underground belt out over there so this one will come out oh about that far i should think and then over here i will go under and come up there like that and twist it again put in another belt and then you where are you going to come up you go one and there and then we'll bring you up to that point and then you can go that way, and in you go. So that is going to start loading silicon in here, as well as carbon. We'll get both of those being loaded up without too much trouble. It's also got carbon going in there as the fuel source. That's loading that up. And then I've also got in here, I've got the silicon seed that comes in through. Now, each of these, they use one mono silicon seed and 40 molten silicon. And that then gives me four mono silicon. So I got to use up the seeds in here. We have some of it come out here. That is taken as the priority. And then out goes the actual silicon that's going over there and it's starting to use that up. Now, the good thing about this is if we have a look down here, because that's now coming out, it's clearing the silicon off of these belts here. It's clearing it out from down this side as well, which isn't going to actually free up any of this at the moment because I backed up with the tin. So we've also got to get the tin moving. But the good thing about this is that it's filtering out the silver and it's taking the silver on up. And it's also going to be uh, using up the slurry over here. It's going to be doing that bit and it's going to be sort of putting it out onto the line with these. Everything is moving, sort of. I can leave that for a minute. Right, I want to go next, the very next. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.